one year, it was Dion's turn to go in. And we knew he was a first ballot Hall of Famer. He knew he was a first ballot Hall of Famer. Every other person on planet Earth knew he was a first ballot Hall of Famer. And we told Dion, you, you know, this is when we're going to have it. He said no. He said no. Why did Dion Sanders say no? Because he was holding a youth football practice at the time. And he was not going to look these kids in the face and say, I'm leaving for my own personal moment. We sent a car for him, and he wouldn't get in it. He was livid at even being asked to do this for the network and for the hall. Livid. Because he's not going to look a kid in the face and say, you got to give me your all when I'm now an individual saying, see ya, leaving practice, i got to go take this Hall of Fame individual honor. That's the guy. But then he came at the end and he was wearing he his still, and he was and wearing he showed his up with his whistle. Yeah, yes. whistle and his, sweat and, his and he was pissed. Yeah. He was pissed. Yeah. He was pissed. Yeah. And then finally I'm like, Dion, you got in the Hall of Fame. Take a breath. Let's it's get a through day. it. <laughs> Let's get through it. Yeah. Great day. Yeah. And that's the guy, like, I don't know. I don't know. It might be about him. Food for thought. A lot of people say the toughest team to play is a good team coming off a loss. Ain't um, nobody say that. Oh, absolutely. A good team that's coming off a loss that needs to get back and get a win. I, don't, I didn't hear nobody say that. Uh, the toughest team to play is a team that's, that's smart, tough, fast, and disciplined. And oh. that's what we're trying to be. And what do you think of them then? Uh, they're good. They're a good football team. They're, uh, I think they're well coached. They have a phenomenal quarterback. Uh, defense a little suspect. But they have a phenomenal offense. And they're well coached. Look at it. This is your last day with it. Once every Thursday. Win us play to win a game. It's the Hampton Gunslingers. All of us want to uh, want to win a quarterback competition. All gunning for their head coach. Sit it. But notice the jersey he's wearing. Odds are you've seen it before. I was uh, Jamie's Fox stunt double in uh, any given Sunday. Every pass that he threw, it was me throwing it. Uh, all the uh, stunts, getting the helmet knocked off, jumping over the top, uh, all that was me. Oh, it was great. See that? You can you can tell that was me. About 15 years ago, Connell Maynard won his own quarterback battle. He beat out about 25 others for the part and made as much as $3,200 for certain scenes. I made Jamie look good, I guess. He got to know all the stars of the film, including Cameron Diaz, Lawrence Taylor, and Jim Brown. But the man who left the biggest impression was the leading man, Jamie Foxx. He, he uh, really uh, took me in and uh, on, the movie, on the set and off the set. You know, we played basketball, went to movies, and uh, just hung out. Uh, he got assistant coaches. He got NFL coaches. He, he talked about how good his staff is and how good they are. So... I'm sure that he can lean on those guys for advice. Um, you know, so he didn't call me, but, you know, he, he's the enemy. <laughs> he's the enemy, you know. Uh, I'm not going to give him any advice. <laughs> you told him to practice at 6 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, I told him, uh, recruit some more five stars. <laughs> you talking about all the four or five stars you recruited. You're not the only one to recruit five stars and four stars. We do, too. Let's go. We got, we got guys coming back next year, too. Yeah, everybody wait for next year. Well, we're playing right now, okay? Everybody like their team at the beginning of the year. Right. So, uh, you know, it, it is what it is, you know? So I'm, I'm going to have some different players out there next year too. I'm not going to play the exact <laughs> same team, you know? So let's go. Bring it. And it's so talented. They're trying to make a name for themselves. And you got to take a shot at me to do that. Um, I, I don't come from the place where you step on another person to make yourself look taller. I don't come from that place. I come from the place of you just do your work, you work your butt off, and God is going to shine the light on who he shines the light on. You just be prepared when that light shines.
You tell every last one that I do not fall alone. Clay. Think I'm going to be the scapegoat for the whole damn machine? She. This, it's three of y'all, y'all lucky, I'm telling you. Y'all the exact controller.